So this is uh, a shoot 'em up called Task Force Campus. It is going to be coming out soon for the PlayStation 4 and other consoles and platforms. It is published by East Asia Soft. And I'm um, going to show off some gameplay, show off the, the little options here. You've got a difficulty setting it goes all the way to uh, to ultra extreme but these are these are the only two available from the get-go the other ones you have to unlock if I don't know how to play so you kill enemies to boost your attack power lose your attack power when you lose HP stop shooting to recover HP goes to game points. Square shoot X confirm. Okay, that was that went by a little too fast. Uh, let's see. You get upgrades after a normal level, but they are removed after a boss. If the timer goes red, it is too late. So okay, this is the uh, basic mechanics, I guess. Shoot square X confirm. Pause menu. Basic. The good thing about these uh, shoot 'em ups is getting the trophies, the platinum, is pretty easy. You usually just have to repeat play. You know the things. You know, just go a few rounds. Usually takes less than 30 minutes to get the platinum. These are uh, five dollar games. They're uh, not that expensive. And they're actually pretty fun. The uh, shoot 'em ups are. East Asia Soft has also started doing Metroidvanias and other, you know, popular, you know, type types of games like that. That they, uh, that they, uh, get from various developers or whatever. So, we got the pilot select screen. Psycho Baby Green reminds me of, uh, Jade from Mortal Kombat uh, 11. Uh, Psycho Baby, then you got Bloody Gaga, and uh, there's a locked pilot, a couple of locked pilots, we're gonna go with uh, this one, see how it goes, so stop shooting to repair and get power ups for, gotta collect the uh, I like the uh, look of it. It's this bordered vertical. Up, down. Shoot them up. It's not, uh, nothing. I like the graphics. I like the art style to it. It's, it's a different, different style than uh, uh, good damage. Kind of stop shooting. See my shot has uh, already doubled up there. Oh man, taking damage. Moving with the uh, thumbstick. Okay, I got a first trophy there. I'll say moving with the thumbstick is two trophies actually. Uh, moving with the thumbstick, it's a little less precise. I don't know if there's a slowdown. I don't think there is a slowdown button for this, so it's making things harder. Harder. Um, uh, I should have just left it at A. Has been. Oh, leave it there. Um, let's see. Start and restart. Okay, we'll do this again. Choose a different pilot. See how it changes. The ship color changes. The ships look about the same. It's got a super shot, extra shot, more HP. So they, so each ship, uh, each uh, pilot has their own perks, as it were. Super shot, we'll go with the There's no slowdown that I can find in the uh, movement's kind of journey. So that's something to note. It's 
thought is uh, you can use the D-pad or the uh, or the thumbstick, the left thumbstick. I think using the D-pad might be more beneficial, like in a uh, Size, dodge things better. Got another trophy. Like I said, these are you can get trophies really easy to save. It'll, it'll cost you about five dollars a launch. Yes, four. And it's um, uh, if you like platinum, if you're a trophy hunter. So you got. Like that was some kind of power up, it was a double shot, so you had a choice of going one or the other. So I that can happen to the intermission, so you think that's sort of a uh, between wave thing. Got another trophy. No but you won't be able to see him, but it's an enemy hunter, it's a silver trophy. It's really uh trophies like you just you just simply have to replay and you'll get them like you don't really have to pay attention to the uh get the S this time. Super shot. Super shot, I mean the squid boss. See how the um the movement is really really gonna uh, the movement in this game is really bad. There is no slowdown. And uh, it's not in the player's favor, to be honest. It, it, it moves too far from side to side. There it sh there should have been a slowdown option with that kind of heavy uh, gun, you know, like a bullet hell going on like they usually do. I think, and it takes too long for the, uh, see, I mean, it is, it is, for me, it just, it just does not uh, work well with the uh, bullet hell that's going on. Like, you just barely tap left or right and your ship will just got another trophy to go under to if you just knock them out really fast. But that would be my one complaint about this game. I think the, uh, the bullet hell, like dodging stuff, like in a pinch, like I think, it, I think they crunch, they created an artificial difficulty in making the, uh, in creating damage recovery mechanics. I think that's why they made it the way it, the way it is, and then they created an artificially difficult situation to uh, make the, uh, make the uh, recovery mechanics viable. I, I don't think they should have done that. I mean, you know, to be honest, like they did it, it would have been better without it. Like, just, just throw in health refills or something, it would have been better. Just, just like here, I'm gonna stop moving. Well, she got more health. And there are no bombs in this one, from what I see. There's no. to that I think it's gonna be a pass for me I mean like a skip because like I I don't think that's a fair mechanic I don't think the way it's set up uh, it's not fair I I think the movement in sync with the bullet hell it just does not it just does not job man it is just not uh, applicable you know it's not gamer friendly I mean I just don't know how else to put it I mean you can't like normally I can beat a boss like that easy if I had like some kind of slowdown mechanic or you know something to help dodge the bullet hell but no they, they want they they crunch too much on the artificial difficulty that is the the uh, recovery
recovery mechanics to stop firing and recover. Like, that's just something that shouldn't have never been. I, I think it's a bad choice, a bad design choice. I think, I think had they started with the, like, you know, old school formulas where it's just like power-ups, there's another trophy, enemy hunter too. It would have been uh, much better. I, I think slow down plus power ups, you know, something. It would have helped us a lot. You know, like screen clearing bombs, something. Okay. It's just, just not good the way it is. It looks good. It looks cool. It's got this, you know, good. Uh, artistic design about it, and I was really looking forward to it, but it was uh, going to be in on par with the other, other, you know, shoot them up these days, or soft as released. Like, I really love those last ones that are in the, uh, the trilogy, that is the, uh, I don't even know the name of the game at this moment. But yeah, like, uh, there was a trilogy they released, but Noble Drifter was actually part of that trilogy. There was some spot ones. They had a sort of Lovecraftian theme to them. It does, it crutches too much on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the recovery mechanic. It's, it's, just, it's just not a good mechanic to have in this game, it creates artificial difficulty. I think, to be fair, had it not been that way, this game would have probably been so, so much easier that it would have, uh, it would have had to, uh, it, it, I just can't beat that first boss with nothing, man, it's, um, artificial difficulty, man, that's this game's problem, it's, uh, let me, uh, switch to easy, see how that goes, see if it fares any better, and I have no embargo on this, so I'm free to say what I'm saying, you know, I would have typed this up in a review, but I wanted to do something a little different, I wanted to, uh, wanted to give you a hands-on don't look at you know, you know how how the game progresses, how it looks, how it plays, you know, my thoughts on it. And there's another one, Gold Trophy Meteor 103. I'll have the platinum and a couple more hunts probably. Uh, I am I am kind of disappointed like they, they threw in the artificial difficulty for mechanics. I I just uh, it was a bad design choice. I think no slowdown really hurt this game. Especially in the uh, intense bullet health sections. The uh, quick movement side to side of the uh, ship just by barely tapping it. Like, it really is problematic. I, I know I've said that several times over, but I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's just basically it. It's just, it's just got some artificial difficulty. It, it has minimum mechanics that are geared towards making artificially difficult mechanics. I just, uh... Yeah, this 
this is aggravating. Got Death Hunter 3 uh, trophy there. And that's on easy. I can't even be the first boss on easy. It should not be that way. It, should, it shouldn't be that difficult. I'm gonna play this till I get the, uh, until I get the uh, trophy, which I may or may not do if I can't get past the first boss, because I'm pretty sure beating the boss does sometimes tie into the uh, trophies, so. But I, so I've got two meters. That's when you build up things by shooting enemies like this. That's when you power up, I guess. Like I said, the, uh... This is just a shame, it really is. I mean, this looks pretty cool. It looks... It looks pretty solid for, you know, like a, uh... That's what they're called, little, I think they're crocodiles, that's what they are, they're called Cocos, rescued 11 of them. Yeah. 
took a shot. It's like I, I thought I had that dodge in it, no. Uh, I, I am so frustrated. I just cannot um, put into words how frustrated I am with that. My one boss, I mean, the first boss should not be that hard. Like, it should not be that hard. On easy, it should not be that hard.
Okay, got another score hunter two. Um, score hunter three, golden trophy. Waiting to see if I get another trophy out of that. Come on, oh, I just don't know, man. This is not looking all that good. Not all that good.
as I said, the trophies usually take just to grind a little bit. You know, you know, you know, it's just a bunch of basically shoot certain things, kill certain things. And uh, there's really no power up, so you don't even have to really factor that in. It's just all about killing different types of animals. Does have a later morale over slow bullet or uh, slow bullet. I'll have to check that out after I get through. Get the run. So that's that's another thing to complain about. Anyways, I think I think I've said enough. I think I've repeated myself enough to uh, drive the point home. This game does not get my approval. Uh, not for the trophies. Not for the fact that the uh, they created artificial difficulty through mechanics and. Uh, know on screen action it's just uh it's not a good thing that they did they need to slow down they need to add in a slow down button r1 shoulder would be perfect or r2 something like that without it i mean it's just, it's just too it's just to uh make it you know like make it so that the slow down affects the the speed of the uh, enemies as well you know like it does in the older older uh, East Asia soft you know shoot 'em ups I don't know man 
I'm disappointed. I really am. I really am disappointed. Let me check out the uh, high score and see if they're global. It shows a different uh, how many killed of each of the enemies. I think it's I think it's local only from the looks of it. It's just a local only score, so that's a bit of a disappointment too. And you can delete the data. Your, your top scores if you want to do that, so that's just... Yeah, not even a global leaderboard, this isn't... I, I can't suggest this, I mean, even for... Even though it's a budget title, it's $5, you get... If you grind it enough, you can get the platinum. You gotta beat the boss if you... You know, like, if I had continued beating the boss, I would have got the platinum eventually. But just the struggle the mechanics, it just makes the grind not worth it, the, it's just not worth it, they need, they need, really need to uh, change the speed of the uh, ship, the uh, movement, the, the whole uh, pacing of it I guess, definitely uh, make, make the difficulties, you know, noticeably different, because, like, from easy to normal, it, it was the same, it felt the same to me either way, no telling how bad, I mean, I, I don't know if, if the other difficulties would be any different or not, but not by much, I doubt it, but it was pretty intense throughout, I mean, you live, you're playing on a tight, narrow strip of screen, with a lot of stuff coming at you, boy, how that covers lot of things and it's just like twitch motion I mean you gotta be you gotta barely barely tap the uh, left and right on the pad just to dodge a lot of it uh, recovery takes too long to be beneficial in any manner with all the stuff that's thrown at you two hits and you're gone even with the uh, powered up you know intermission you know the intermission power ups you can't really have anything that really helps. There's no screen clear bombs. Uh, just a lot of missteps with this one. Can't recommend it. That's my review. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Sorry that I didn't have the little player chat thing up like I usually do. I wanted you to see this game in full and how it looks and everything. So. But yeah, that's the my review.